next body part we've done hand, elbow, shoulder is our core, our core. And the most important part of this is to make sure your shaft is parallel to your chest. And to make it parallel to your chest, the best thing is to first hold it onto your life jacket and paddle and notice how my legs move and notice how much rotation I get. Look at the rotation I get from, from keeping it parallel. The next one is paddling at default. Paddling at default, here we are in the default position. The elbows must be locked, that's the secret. And you paddle at default. Look at that, paddle, 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 paddle. Look at the rotation and look at my elbows locked. Now the common mistake, people think they're using their arms, their, their, their bodies and they do this and this and this and this. Remember we want to keep this shaft parallel at all times and then you're going to get the full effect of your rotation. There and there. Next body part uh, exercise, we've done our hand, elbow, shoulder, core is our legs, the most important part of the paddle stroke. Again we rotate forward and we pull our, uh, our, our hip forward, in fact right off the seat, we put this paddle in and we drive the, drive the footrest forward and don't push into the back of the boat. So we lock this paddle and drive, but not into the back of the boat, into the blade. The most important part of this is that you want to pull your bum off the seat. And remember this, that both feet are pushing this boat forward and pushing the footrest forward, but one is pushing harder than the other. Have a look at the other side. There we go. I'm looking at it and I've rotated my hips forward. I put it in and I drive hard with that, drive hard with that leg, pushing the boat forward and pulling my, my, my bum off the back of the seat. That is the secret. Remember, we want to put this paddle in and we want to pull ourselves past the paddle. So if we can pull our bum forward, it's connected to our feet, it'll push the boat forward. And that's the, the, the very important exercise of leg drive. And you've got to get that timing right to get maximum power out of your biggest muscle, your legs. Now it's time for the exit. We did the catch, we've done all the power phase, now the exit. Very simple, the exit. We rotate as normal, put the blade in, pull to our knee, let the power go off and let the hand just come up and you end up in default position. Look at the other side, rotate first, in, pull, 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 at your knee, stop and just lift your hand up. Common mistakes are people keep pulling and if you keep pulling your elbow has to come up because you're carrying a lot of water, you're carrying a lot of water up here. So really concentrate on pulling and exiting. Okay, we've done all our drills, we've done all the catch drills, we've done all the body parts, we've done the exit. Now it's to put it all into something that you can work on. In fact, it's very close to our, how I paddle and it's called elbow to knee. And all you have to do is rotate and if you rotate properly, look how your elbow touches your knee. And you put it in normally and shoot it forward, pull back, elbow to knee. Have a look again, there. And there and there. Common mistakes people make is they go forward like this and the only way you can get your elbow to knee is by lifting your foot up which is not going to work that well. Okay, the other thing is, the other uh, I see often is that people pull it nicely and they lift their elbow and then they have to bring the elbow down. No reason to lift your elbow and bring it down. Have a look. Out, there, touch, hit, in. Touch, hit, in. There. So really concentrating on keeping your elbows down, which makes your shaft comes closer to your body, which engages your core much more. But that'll give you good tips on how to paddle properly.